This is such a fantastic breakdown from Dave Chappelle about Donald Trump. Now, I don't think Dave Chappelle is actually a Donald Trump fan. I'm pretty sure that he has a, a negative opinion of Donald Trump overall. But how he breaks this down is so perfect. And this is coming one day before Donald Trump is going to supposedly announce his run for president in 2024. And it's going to be a massive meltdown when that actually happens. I'm considering going live and just doing a live reaction to this we will see if that happens but let's listen to what dave Chappelle has to say and then we're going to talk more about it you might believe this is the end of his era i'm, I'm just being honest with you i live in ohio amongst the poor whites <laughs> a lot of you don't understand why trump was so popular but i i get it because i hear it every day now i'm gonna have to stop and start and pause just because i'm pr i don't know if i'm gonna get hit on this or not but let's continue listening He's very loved. And the reason he's loved is because people in Ohio have never seen somebody like him. He's what I call an honest liar. Well, I'm not joking right now. He's an honest liar. That first debate, that first debate, I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen a white male billionaire screaming at the top of his lungs. This whole system is rigged, he said. <laughs> And across the stage was a white woman, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, sitting over there looking at him like, no, it's not. I said, now, wait a minute, bro. <laughs> it's what he said. He's so accurate. And to play off of that, I I've talked about this many times. I will never forget when Donald Trump was standing on stage in a debate stage in the primaries, when Jeb Bush was still, I guess, uh, somewhat of a contender. And George W. Bush came out onto the campaign trail for the first time. And there was all this media attention. George W. Bush returns to the campaign trail. And at the time in South Carolina, George W. Bush with Republicans had like a 95% approval rating or some nonsensical number like that. And on stage, Donald Trump decided to just trash George W. Bush. Trash him over weapons of mass destruction. Just, just destroy him. The entire crowd just booed like crazy, booed him. Jeb Bush looked so happy. And, of course, Trump says that's just his special interest in donors out there. And I'm like, holy crap, nobody else would have done or said what this man just said. And that's what the, Dave Chappelle's saying right here. And the moderator said, well, Mr. Trump, if, in fact, the system is rigged, as you suggest, what would be your evidence? You remember what he said, bro? He said, I know the system is rigged because I use it. I said, God damn. <laughs> and then he pulled out an Illuminati membership card, chopped a line of cocaine up, and did it right into the podium. So I love his reaction. I love it. <laughs> no one ever heard someone say something that true. And then Hillary Clinton tried to punch him in the taxes. She said, This man doesn't pay his taxes. He shot right back. That makes me smart. <laughs> <laughs> dude the trump debates were so good whether it was the republican primaries whether it was the presidential uh you know debates it was must see tv and i can't wait to get that again i can't wait to get the donald trump debates once again it's going to be glorious and then he said if you want me to pay my taxes, then change the tax code. But I know you won't, because your friends and your donors enjoy the same tax breaks that I do. And with that, my friends, a star was born. <laughs> no one had ever seen anything like that. No one had ever seen somebody come from inside of that house, outside and tell all the commoners, we are doing everything that you think we are doing <laughs> inside of that house. They just went right back in the house and started playing the game again. <laughs> and I'm watching it. So I, I love what Dave Chappelle here has, has had to say. And again, this is why Trump cannot be touched on the Republican side. There's no chance that anybody on the Republican side is going to have any impact on him whatsoever. DeSantis is a obviously a great governor and the future of the Republican Party. I 100% understand that. I, I can acknowledge that DeSantis is absolutely the future of the Republican Party. There's no doubt in my mind about that. But he is not the current. The current is still Donald J. Trump. And 
he just he's a personality like we've never seen before and we're never going to see again. There's never going to be anyone quite like him. Although I will give Elon credit because a lot of the things that Elon Musk is doing right now with Twitter and how he is going against uh, a lot of the the narratives He's doing some crazy things, too, but Trump is just still on another level, man. It, it's truly astonishing what he's been able to do, how he's been able to do it, and how he continues to uh, battle against it. This man is 77, 78 years old, and he's still just fighting every single day, taking all types of attacks left and right. Everybody's after this man, and he just will not stop. And th th there's something incredible about that. And I know a lot of people like, oh, he's in it for his ego. Well, of course his ego is involved in this. But this man has lost a lot, a lot of his net worth since getting involved in politics. He had no reason to get involved in politics. He, he was a filthy rich billionaire who had business dealings all over the world. He didn't want for anything but he got involved, and I genuinely believe it's because he loves this country and he hates to see what's happened to it. And, and he's been fighting these battles, and now to see so many people turning on him um, just because uh, the new shiny toy uh, DeSantis shows up is, is pretty disappointing, but it's not surprising at all. But my, my support for Trump has not wavered one bit, and it will not waver. Greatest president of my lifetime. Looking forward to him announcing tomorrow. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you Later.